and coming home with a strong second place finish tonight at Talladega Short Track at East Abogue, Alabama in the Neesmith Smith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series main event. Two-time series champion and a guy that's really always laid back. He doesn't get very excited, but tonight was a night to get excited because you had a heck of a race out there with Ronnie Johnson and 12-year-old Tyler Clem. Oh, yeah, we had a heck of a race with uh, the, the little Clem, little Clem boy. Uh, he, he's, uh, he, he passed me there, and I had to follow him there for a little bit and uh, couldn't hardly keep up. So uh, I had to get up on the steering wheel and find something because uh, my car was just slacking a little bit. And uh, so finally got up on the wheel and uh, got a little bit more aggressive and, and uh, finally found a way back up there towards the front and and just come up a little short you and ronnie johnson uh got to know each other pretty well this weekend he's battled side by side last night and tonight and i mean it's one thing when you're out there racing with ronnie johnson he's a hall of famer uh, like yourself a two-time champion a peer out there but when a, a kid 12 years old comes up there and drives by you what's that feel like well, I mean, hey, it's uh, he he. Uh, that's a. Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't have no words to say on that one. I mean, he 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 races just like anybody else, and uh, I mean, he's a talented little kid, and uh, you know, it, it it's a it's an age, and he's he's got just as much talent as me or or Ronnie or you know, it's just uh, some people's got it in a in a. a natural talent and uh, I think that little boy he's on he's got it for sure you know we look back to 2009 and 2010 you know you won two national championships right in a row uh, before you were 20 years old and we thought man that's phenomenal you know here's Eric Cooley hadn't turned 20 at two national championships now we got him 12 13 14 15 years old and they're out there running up front and they're winning races I mean it's a Phenomenal, and now Sunoco's come along with this Sunoco Young Gun Challenge Series and uh, going to pay $1,000 at the end of the year to the, the top uh, Young Gun driver. I mean, probably wish that you'd have got in on that a few years ago. Oh, for sure. You know, that that would have been great uh, to, to be able to do that. I think I think you done the research. You know, back when I won it in 09, you know, I was the youngest national champion on dirt. So, Somebody like him's probably gonna beat my record there. So, I mean, you know, if he does, congrats to him. You know, it's 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 really what this sport needs. Um, it, it's it's kind of got away, and, and we need something. You know, like those fans tonight seeing twelve year old kid that can go out here and and, and will a twenty three hundred pound race car against you know Ronnie. Heck, he's raced longer than I've been alive. So. To be able to run right there competitive with him, you know, that that's what we need and, and to bring all the fans back and and get more involved in the sport and uh, hopefully get dirt racing back where it needs to be. Eric, uh, you took your success with the D. Smith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series and uh, turned it into a super late model career and uh, you came back and raced with us this weekend. Was it is it still fun racing with the series? Oh, definitely. You know, it, it, to you, you don't have but so much you can do. I mean, motors, what it is, and and you just gotta get up on the wheel. Like you know, I, I finally done there in the feature, and it, it's always fun. I you know set fast time, and and uh, I, I drove the thing as hard as I could, and I really didn't feel that great. And I I really I pulled in. I said, well, I guess we're gonna be in a B main, and there's like, well. You was two two and a half second or two and a half tenths faster, and you know that I guess uh, using that late model experience it, it really helps. And then when you slow everything down, it, it kind of feels like you're that slow. And but uh, the late model stuffs helped me, and and I, I really enjoy coming back because it puts it back in the driver to to go around the racetrack. And uh, I definitely look uh, for y'all coming to Mississippi. I was just going to ask you about that. Our next two races are right up there in, in your neighborhood uh, at uh, Why Not Motorsports Park in Meridian, Mississippi, and a, a track that you are really tough to beat at, and that's Magnolia Motor Speedway. 
Yeah, that's uh, I, I've, I'm, that's one of my favorite tracks to go anywhere. It's uh, just facility-wise and, and always the racing. And it's Magnolia has always treated me pretty well after my first year racing. At, at first, that I didn't know if I'd ever like that place, and uh, but it's turned out to be one of my best tracks. And and to uh, to be able to go back there here in what is a couple three weeks or so, and and uh, hopefully we can get down there and try this whole hot rod out down there. We this is the first re weekend we race with it, so um, I think we'll be all right and just uh, keep her keep her thoughts going straight and and uh, let the driver. Uh, not lose his train of thought and uh, i think we'll be all right we look forward to seeing you there eric cooley two-time nice smith chevrolet dirt late model series national champion coming home with a second place finish in fast time honors tonight fix up a check for 201 dollars don't spend that dollar uh in more than one place i didn't even get it uh, my when we was lining up Vaughn handed it to my brother-in-law and then my brother-in-law went to the parts trailer and he said, I'll just give him that money. So, I mean, <laughs> part Shayla got it. <laughs> but he won the Mike Vaughn Auto Exchange Fast Time Award tonight, $201. And he'll be back in action with us at our next two events coming up Memorial Day weekend at Why Not Motorsports Park in Meridian, Mississippi, and the Black Ice of Magnolia Motor Speedway in Columbus, Mississippi. That's a Saturday and a Sunday on Memorial Day weekend. Mark those down on your calendar. Come see us with the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Laid Model Series. But Eric Cooley coming home second tonight here at Talladega Short Track. <laughs>